Welcome to the Jungle Violence, your least favorite artist, Kitty Swala. Uh, once again, um, Rewind Nation has changed their username to The Getaway with Two Eyes. It has been updated appropriately in my description box below. Also, in my description box is an Instagram account called Perfect Flows, run by my friend Abigail Jordan. Please give that a follow. And also, please subscribe to this channel. It motivates me to make more videos. If I want to say weird random shit, I can say that to my roommates or to my friends. If you want me to say weird and random shit online like this, comment and tell me how much you like my weird random shit. <laughs> So I figured I would try a new kind of game instead of just my typical MMO RPG. This is kind of like an action game, I guess you can call it. I don't action strategy. I don't know. <laughs> um, this came up in my recommended for some reason on the Google Play. Uh, and when you go to click on the region, for some reason, South Africa is not an option, but Northern Africa is, so I went with that. There are a lot of different people you can play as, but when you start out, it automatically gives you, um, a Wilhelm. He's kind of like a cowboy, uh... And fun fact, I'm pretty sure his name is Irish for William. It's been a while since I've had to do anything related to Irish or Celtic, you know, that kind of stuff. But, uh, this game is actually pretty neat. Uh, you can change the skins for your characters. You can't really, like, customize what color they, their, like, hair is, how tall they are, anything like you can in Darkness Rises. Or even tour them online, you can change the height and stuff. But, um, so I'm not a huge fan of that aspect because I like it when I have full control over what my character looks like. Uh, in Dragon Raya, I got to change the height, the nose angle, and everything. Darkness Rises, I can change that. And, but in, you know, <laughs> Dragon Raya, I can change the gender. I can't do that in Darkness Rises. So there's, there's a plus and minus to that. So, I can change what skin, you know, this game is kind of like Overwatch. <laughs> it's like Overwatch, it really is. Because you're in a team, and you fight against another team. And by the way, I did not do the best, <laughs> obviously, I'm new, but I also didn't do the worst. I did pretty decent, if I do say so myself. But, um, it's... <laughs> not my favorite game, but not my least favorite. I might keep this app and play some more. Uh, I couldn't use SP Kitty Gamer. It cut off SP Kitty Ga, and I am quite terrible and cringy, but I don't think I'm enough to make you Ga. So, mm. make of that what you will. Uh, I vaguely remember hearing about this game a few months ago, and, you know, there's this, there's, there's the conspiracy theory that, you know, your, your phone is listening to you, so maybe that's why it came up in one of my recommendations. I mean, then again, I was also looking for Final Fantasy VII on the phone, which, <laughs> surprise, <laughs> Final Fantasy VII is actually in the Google Play Store. It's the blocky original one, and not the magnificent <laughs> remake with the graphics, or just... <sighs> it looks like you could be watching one of the movie... Oh, my phone just hit my face, I'm sorry. But, like, the new Final Fantasy VII remake is so beautiful, artistically done. The voice acting is amazing even if you're playing the Japanese version if you're playing the English version 
Es magnífico. Pero es magnífico. Es un buen mix. Mix de Six French. Pero. No sé. Este juego no es realmente como Final Fantasy, I wouldn't say. Again, it's it's like Overwatch. You got some things your character can do, and it's weaknesses. That's basically every game, actually. Now that I think of it, <sighs> but in this one, you can like hit builds, and you can have different builds. You can't. It's not just I am a defense character. I can be an offense or a defense, which I think is pretty neat. So one of mine is um, the attack, and the other one is uh, support, which you know, I kind of do appreciate that I can switch between which role I play, and I can switch what skin I'm using, but again, I would really like if I could customize like what color hair she has, or how long her hair is, because her hair in her default skin, she was fuck, but... Her heartbreaker skin is nice and long, but that's the only skin that doesn't have a tail. And I love the wings, I love the tail, I love the horns. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm not a boy, I promise. I'm just weird. I like tails, I like wings, I like horns or ears or both. Like, mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I wear my elf ears, I wear my horn headbands. I have some wings I can wear, but they don't photograph really well because they're translucent. You can kind of see through them, but you can also not. Like translucent is in between opaque and transparent. It's in the middle. Mm. I should be asleep right now, but instead I'm recording my voice to a video game. Yeah. <sighs> I'm sorry, I'm kind of tired. I, I, I should be asleep, but instead I'm doing this. Um. Again, please, please, please subscribe. I have noticed in my... YouTube studio app that most of the people watching aren't subscribed. Please, 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 it definitely shows support and uh, you're not really motivated to do something if you don't have support or backing, so <laughs> just, I hate having to say that because like it sounds like I'm begging and I swear I'm not pulling an alinity or an invader, Evie, I just, please, I'm not gonna beg for money, I'm just like asking, oh, you know what, I do kind of sound like a, one of those cringy streamer girls, but, yeah, please, at least check out the links in my, in my description, even if you don't subscribe to me, or if you know what, if you unsubscribe to me, just comment, Saying, hey, you're a crazy ass bitch. I don't want to watch you anymore. <laughs> uh, I was actually supposed to do a collab with someone who from America. But, um, yeah, just no. That's all I'm going to say is it didn't work out at all. <laughs> I'm not going to throw shade, I'm not going to name them, I'm not going to do anything, I'm just going to say there was supposed to be a collab, but it didn't end up happening. Uh, I don't know who would have gone up on his channel or mine, but... Mm. <laughs> I'm just going to say it was a close call. <sighs> okay, so... I've noticed that sometimes in this game, the writing will go from English to Arabic, and I can speak and understand Arabic orally, like verbally, but reading and writing, I am still working on it. I can read and write the word wolf now, which is my favorite 
and won't ever of course i want to learn how to do that first uh i can also read and write the word beautiful so i'm gonna learn how to write <laughs> i'm gonna try to learn how to write in full sentences my um sister kruki she has one of her friends helping me so awesome uh i also have gotten into emailing um the egyptian woman from work her name is susan s-o-z-a-n uh, she's still helping me learn how to read too so susan is helping me read and then my friend cookie sorry <laughs> my sister cookie's friend too many words i'm getting confused <laughs> my sister's cookie's friend is helping me write it if that makes any sense because like it still looks like a bunch of squiggles and lines and dots and i feel so bad that like, reading it i get a giant migraine trying to understand what it is like i can speak it and i can understand it. it's annoying and i have learned two words in russian so i'm learning <laughs> So, uh, I wanted to try to do a bot match to try to get some more practice in before I start using um, Vera in a team fight with other people because, again, I'm new to this game. I didn't want to drag my team down. Uh, I do die <laughs> quite a bit, but don't worry, I take people down with me and I do actually destroy at least one tower. <laughs> A whopping one. <sighs> and I have my uh, Arena of Valor account linked to my... Uh, to, I think my Twitter. I have it linked to something. So even if I do end up only selling the app, even temporarily, just to make room for more videos and more games to try... I should be able to get my account back. Fingers crossed. We'll see. Um, I am going to be playing a bunch of random games. Like there's a mobile Assassin's Creed game called Assassin's Creed Identity. I'm going to be playing um, Terra Genis. Genis, however the hell I'm supposed to fucking pronounce that. Like, I get it over your fucking self. I don't know why you give us such a weird ass name. But, um. <laughs> I play a lot of MMORPGs, and I know people get bored of basically just seeing the same shit with different characters in a different setting. So, like, I'm trying. Okay, I'm trying. <laughs> But I do have a preference for MMORPGs probably because it has the most character customization and I can, it's basically like a reader insert as I put in my name, I design my character, and I am suddenly in the story. It's really cool. It's kind of like you're making an OC for an existing franchise, like, for example, uh, Naruto. And I'm only bringing up Naruto as a reference because I actually had this conversation the other day with my friend Raziel. <laughs> he uh, posted a picture to his Instagram of Gara and Kiyomi Uchiha. And he asked me if it was from Burrito. <laughs> you know, like the Mexican food of Burrito. He tried to say Burrito, but it came out came Burrito. <laughs> why I find that so funny, but I do. It's it's hilarious, okay? <laughs> but, uh, so he thought that was a canon screenshot from Boruto, like a flashback or something, because he doesn't read or watch it. <laughs> and I was, I knew it was an OC just by looking at her, so I did my thing, I googled it, <laughs> I sent him a bunch of screenshots because she's on Pinterest, she's on DeviantArt, 
and then I sent her a link to the creator's um, Instagram account. Like, this this is not a real character. <laughs> but um, basically, Kiyomi Uchiha is a fan-made twin sister for Sasuke. And her hair seems to turn to snakes from what I saw. Not judging, just <laughs> that something that happened and it makes basically an MMORPG is when you make an OC for something. So I, that's why I just told you that little story. <laughs> I'm going to cosplay as like half of the characters from this game, especially Vera, all three of her skins. But they will have long hair and they all three will have tails. <laughs> I, I, I don't know why. But I really like tails, and I really like wings, and I really like horns and ears. She's got pointy ears, she's got horns, she's got wings. And most of her skins have a tip. There's something wrong with me. And also, I noticed in all the matches I played, like, I played four of them. Only two of them were going to be in the video. But I was the only one playing as her. Justice for Rara. Like, they don't even play as her sister. <laughs> Which I find as an insult. <laughs> because she's actually pretty cool. She's pretty great. <sighs> I don't know why, but like, every time I yawn, I just randomly remember something that happened in my senior year of uh, senior high. I was sitting next to, I think it was a sophomore, but I sat down and I yawned because it was so freaking early in the morning, second period actually. I went from mythology to civics and government, so basically like a history class, if you know what I mean. And I started yawning because I was tired and he's like, Everything about you is so damn feminine. I'm just, I looked at him and I was like, I have a fucking vagina. Yes, everything about me is going to be feminine. It's just... Apparently, I'm too feminine. And then apparently, I'm also not feminine enough because I play video games. I fight. Like, I wrestle. I don't like go out and punch people in the face, okay? I wrestle. I do taekwondo, um, karate, like, I do all kinds of weird stuff. Apparently, girls aren't supposed to like anime either. I will keep that in mind and also fuck you up the ass if you think that I am allowed to like anime. I am allowed to play video games. Okay. <laughs> I really should be in bed, but instead I'm recording. Listen, Kelly, I know tired, you're tired. So that's the only chance I have to freaking record, so I have to take it. Oh. Anyway, how's everybody doing? I'm under lockdown. <sighs> There's debate about moving from a level 5 to level 4 to level 3. Back to level 5. This preference is allowed to move. That preference is allowed to move. You have to have a permit to move. You don't need the permit. It's, it's, it's confusing. It's hectic. Uh, I hope everyone's staying safe. Uh, one of my friends, Damien, is sick and in the R ER, he thinks it might be COVID. I think he's just being a pussy. <sighs> I don't know. It's, mm, it's getting kind of weird though because a bunch of people I've got uh, 
you know, the, like we close the door on that. I, a lot of friends that kind of like closed the door or starting to come back. It's, <laughs> I don't want to get my hopes up that A, they're here to stay or that B, certain other people will come back. So I'm trying to be optimistic, like, yay, my friend Damien is talking to me again. Yay, my friend Penguin is talking to me again. Yay, uh, Ruin is starting to talk to me again. It's just... <sighs> like, I just don't want to get my hopes up because then I'm going to be very sad again. You just need to appreciate the people you have in your life while they're in your life. And just because I don't have someone by my side doesn't mean I don't have their back. They almost definitely don't have mine, but I can still love and support them from a distance, you know? not the most fun to have to, but sometimes you can't hold on to someone's hand. You can't be there with them. <sighs> so, like, people will, like, my, um, former friend, Eris. I, if, <laughs> if the need arises, I would without hesitation give up my life for her doesn't mean she has to do the same for me doesn't mean she ever will do the same for me I mean I'll have to do it for her but I would I haven't spoken to her since November but I still wish her the best I still think about her I still pray for her because she's a single mother and She's in one of the hardest hit places right now, I think. But just because uh, we don't get along well enough or somebody is no longer talking to me, I'm going to pray for them. I will fight for them if, <laughs> if I have to. <laughs> but, um, the people that are coming back, um... They're, they kind of start to give me hope that other people will come back, but I don't want to have that hope because I know that they won't. But then I find myself thinking, well, I didn't think Damien or my penguin were going to come back, and they did, so maybe X, Y, and Z will come back. <sighs> Just... It's a very dangerous mindset I'm finding myself in right now. Do I be hopeful? Do I... Do I just... Walk on eggshells? I don't want to have to walk on eggshells. But I don't want to get my hopes up. Only to fall again. Sometimes in life you gotta lose people. <sighs> it's not fun, but as part of growing up. And you're never fully done growing up because you can always learn something new. And it fucking sucks. <laughs> like, if you watch a video from me from this time last year, <laughs> I promise it's not going to be like you're watching the same person. 
or even two years ago. <laughs> and the happiest time of my life, I wasn't even on YouTube. I was spending X amount of hours a day with the same person just basking in their existence. <laughs> And now they're gone. <sighs> I'm curious though how that happened. How do you go from spending several hours a day, every day together, to them not even thinking about you for a moment? Because I know he's not thinking about me at all. But he's still all I think about. And it hurts. It hurts so very badly. Lots of things hurt. That's part of being alive. If everything felt good, made you smile, you wouldn't learn anything and you wouldn't grow as a person. So I have a knife in my back, every dagger in my heart. Grow and learn. Grow and learn. It sucks balls. Part of being human. And as much as I'd rather be an iguana with a milkshake from Narnia, <laughs> I'm a human. Mm -hmm. My therapy cat's curled up next to me, so. I want to bend over my chest with my phone in my face to record my voice so you can hear it. And then the other one just like sprawled up by my head with my cat's ass in my armpit. Just... Mm. It's a good thing I'm flexible. No, like a low key is actually a pretty helpful thing I'm double jointed. I think part of that is I can move my toes, like fingers. I never really thought about it, but today I got, I had to get up on the um, wash machine to get something. It's like, this might have something to do with the fact that I can move each and every single one of my joints independently. Like, I'm pretty sure I'm not, and I think I'm what comes after double jointed. <laughs> I don't know, but I might find out. Like seriously, I'm, I'm pretty sure Google knows that shit, or somebody on Google knows that shit. I'm home alone, except for the three cats. Theo, my therapy cat, Lucky, my pet cat, Lightning, my roommate's pet cat, who comes into my room for snuggles because my roommate is usually at her boyfriend's house, and then my other roommate, um, <laughs> my other roommate looks pussy so uh doesn't have a boyfriend but goes out every so often for their fuck buddy <sighs> and there's me laying my bed playing video games can't really do much when you're in lockdown you know and I've played all my xbox games which are two, my Assassin's Creed, Skyrim, Fallout, Portal 1, Portal 2. <sighs> Watch your girl, boop boop. I don't know. Why don't you leave me a suggestion in the comments? 
uh, I only play mobile games for YouTube because people have more of a chance of having a, a cell phone than they do an Xbox or a PlayStation. You know, like console wars, I'm not into that. And also, I don't know how to record the Xbox. Or the 3DS. <laughs> I only know how to record the cell phone. So, if anybody has any uh, mobile games they'd like me to play, drop a comment in my comment section. That was clever. You're clever, Kitty. You're also clever. But, uh, again, like, Leave me recommendations. I am bored as hell. And if you could uh, subscribe so you can see when I play your recommendations, that would be awesome. And also, again, please, 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 how about my friend The Getaway Two Wise? Link is in description. I feel like I'm trying to sell you drugs, but instead of drugs, it's good quality content. And by good quality content, I mean my friend's YouTube channel and not mine, because I suck. <laughs> the getaway, in case you haven't clicked on the link yet, uploads short music clips. I believe the longest is about 5 minutes and 8 seconds. But you should definitely check him out. He has one song in particular called Sun and Moon that I thoroughly enjoy. I actually used that in my Dragon Raya play game. Play game. Gameplay. <laughs> I'm so good at English. I can rearrange the words. If you're old enough, take a shot every time I yawn. Maybe then my videos will start being interesting. I don't, I'm not really sure. It might be interesting. Or it might just get even more boring. We'll see. Uh, my next gameplay will either be the Terra Genesis or the Assassin's Creed, I'm not sure which one. I'm also going to play a horror game called Hall. That was never popular. <laughs> but, you know, it seems to have a lot of mazes and puzzles. I am autistic. I love mazes. I love puzzles. Let me tell you, it's the winter now, so if I had a cuddle body, that would be great. My cat is tiny, he is fluffy, and I love him, but he's tiny. So as soon as lockdown ends, I'm gonna go snuggle with people. Like, I'm gonna snuggle the hell out of them. My roommates will be sitting on the couch, and I'll just, like, crawl out of my room. And I will force myself on their lap, and I'll put my arms around them so they have to hug me. I want to. Hugged, please. I can't be within two meters of somebody. I can't hug you from that far. I'm dying. <sighs> also, I want pet dogs and bulls. And snakes. Oh, I feel snakes. I know I'm weird. If you've been here for a while, you know that by now. And if you're new here, buckle your fucking seatbelts, bitch. You're on for a bumpy ride. <laughs> Six minutes left. What to say? What to say? <laughs> hmm. I'm actually gonna stop the audio recording for a moment, take a quick little drink a drink because my throat's getting dry again. 
Uh, I had a huge coughing fit for a few months. Uh, it is mostly gone, but I still do get a, a horse cough every now and then. I'll be right back. Voice over kitty back. Do you miss me? I missed you. Mm -hmm. uh, I just had to wait like 10 minutes because trains. Yes, they are a major form of transportation in this country. And I just so happen to live right next to a train track. So they're seriously very, very obnoxiously loud. <laughs> Uh, my sister Cookie just commented on one of my Instagram pictures. Uh, she mistook, <laughs> mistook this game for, uh, Mobile Legends. Uh, I don't. I, I don't want to play that game, but I might. She said I look similar and she likes Mobile Legends. So maybe I will play that game. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe or maybe not. <laughs> <sighs> and I had to delete a post I made to a Darkness Rises group because I said I wanted to cosplay as somebody and I got lots of creeps. <laughs> somebody told me they would have a crush on me if I did. Uh, somebody else said I want to see. Somebody else asked me uh, if I would make the dress shorter so he could look up it. It's great being a female in this community sometimes. So amazing. Hmm. I'm like, I'm not even attractive, so I'm gonna guess that the actually pretty girls have a lot of horse time. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't want to find it. It's, it's a good thing I'm ugly. <sighs> I'm taking my hair down. It's a ponytail. You would never believe how how hard it is to get my hair up in a ponytail or a pigtail or whatever I feel like doing so. That's why it's down in all of my thumbnails and all of my selfies because I don't fucking feel like taking the time to braid it or ponytail or piggy tail or whatever the fuck you can do with hair. I don't know. I'm, I'm not a hairstylist, okay? I'm a fucking cosplay model. <sighs> I do my makeup. I brush my hair. And sometimes I'll dye it. And I let them tell me how I move my arms and my, my feet. And then somebody takes a fuck picture. That's all I fucking do for a living. <sighs> I don't know. I'm gonna start my outro. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and night, whichever time zone would you reside. Remember, we're all mad here and it's a-okay. I appreciate each of your unique existences. Stay safe and protect the ones you love. Remember to wash your hands thoroughly and often. Disinfect frequently touched surfaces like your phone, your cabinets, your counter. Don't disinfect your pets though because uh, I'm pretty sure they won't survive that. But you know, you can give them a bath. Make sure they don't have fleas or ticks or parasites. Yeah, not like, like disinfect them that way. Don't try to put hand sanitizer or dish soap on your pets. Not a good time. Disinfect the frequently touched surfaces that aren't alive. <laughs> don't disinfect your pets. Give them antibiotics if they have something wrong with them. Don't don't make them drink hand sanitizer. Do not. I do not condone that. I do not suggest that. Protect ye pets. <sighs> don't disinfect your pets. Do not. <laughs> Wash your hands to make sure you get your thumbs and underneath your fingernails. It takes about 20 seconds, or as long as it takes to sing happy birthday to yourself twice. It's actually uh, my brother Colton's birthday on the day of recording this. And on the day of uploading it is going to be my sister's birthday. One of my older sister's birthdays. <sighs> Colton is turning 23 today, and then Isaac is turning 29 tomorrow. 12th of May and 13th of May. Interesting. I don't know. Mm. 
Well, I hope you all enjoyed the rambling. Bye-bye now.